In the great city of Florence, we come to the Franciscan church of Santa Croce. And tucked away in a little side chapel is the Baroncelli family memorial. The frescoes were painted by Taddeo Gaddi around the year 1328, and they depict the life of St. Joachim and St. Anne, scenes of the life of the Virgin, and then scenes from the life of Christ. We take our narrative from the Golden Legend, written towards the end of the 13th century, a legend which fleshes out the story of Joachim and Anne, the grandparents of Jesus. We find ourselves in the temple, as Joachim has to face the shame of being almost thrown out of the temple, his offering not worthy because he and his wife Anne have no children. Joachim then retreats to the hills, to a little hermitage, and it's there that the angel of the Lord invites him, invites him to be responsive to that call. He returns to Jerusalem, where he encounters Anne, his wife, at the Golden Gate. And there they celebrate the birth of a daughter, Mary. Mary they offer to the Lord. Mary, the fruit of God's blessing. And in this scene, we find Joachim and Anne's daughter on the steps of the temple, the steps of the sanctuary. Mary becomes engaged to Joseph, her husband. That sign of blessing and that sign of fruitfulness continues now in the child that Mary is to bear. And what Gardi has then done is on the wall surrounding the windows of the chapel, we have reflective scenes from the life of Christ. At the top, the Annunciation. The angel revealing the message to the Virgin at prayer that she is to be the mother of his son. In her haste, she goes to the hill country of Judea to encounter her cousin Elizabeth, who herself is with child. This beautiful scene of the Annunciation to the shepherds in the fields reveals God's desire to bring that blessing of the Word made flesh to the ears and the hearts of his own people. And here we have the Nativity, the birth of the Christ child in that very simple stable of Bethlehem, Joseph and Mary rejoicing in the birth of a son. The Annunciation to the Magi. There, the star that is revealed is the babe of Bethlehem, surrounded in light, revealed to these men of the East who now come searching for that word, for that wisdom, for that light. A journey that takes them to that stable where they offer their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh to adore the God, to adore the King, to adore the one who would give himself freely in sacrifice. So in celebrating St. Joachim and Anne, the grandparents of Jesus, what we celebrate is a hope that lay in the future. The wisdom that was passed on to Mary, the faith that was passed on to Mary, so that in her time she could say yes to the word becoming flesh and God dwelling among us. So as we pray for grandparents, we pray St. Joachim and Anne, pray for us.